Out of all the new additions in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, there's one really cool addition that kind of flew under the radar, and that addition is Echo Fighters. If you don't know, Echo Fighters are basically now a branded name for clone fighters that are always in every fighting game, but this time in Smash Bros. with Echo Fighters, they don't necessarily take up a roster slot as they don't actually count as a new character in the character list, but it's still a great way to please fans without having to put in a ton of extra development work. Basically, Echo Fighters are the best of both worlds, however unfortunately there's only 7 of them in the game right now. And while obviously there are enough characters to really satisfy a lot of people, Obviously, with Sakurai wanting to push Ultimate to its very limits, there comes to be the question, will we get any more Echo Fighters as DLC? So hey guys, it's Thomas from the Switch Stop, and I'm joined by PJ. And today we're going to be talking about how a possible Echo Pack can be released for Smash Bros. DLC. So obviously, when we got the announcement of Terry, we also got another announcement with that. Talk about how there's going to be more DLC fighters in the making after the fighter pass is over. And what we're thinking is that there isn't going to be some new DLC characters right after the fighter pass, but there's going to be an echo pack. And I'm just going to explain what that is. So basically, we think it's going to be $6 for three echo fighters bundled together. And these characters can just, for example, they can just be something like Dixie Kong or like Mega Man X from what other characters are in the game that don't have echoes that could like realistically happen. But we were thinking, obviously, as I said, $6 for all of those characters along with one music track for each because obviously it's an echo, not a fully new character. I think this would be good after the fighter pass considering that some people weren't really happy with the echo fighters that were in the game personally i was very disappointed that they ended up putting shadow as an assist trophy and also i didn't see dixie in the game which i think definitely should have been an echo so i think this would be a really good way to start off this next wave i can sort of call it of dlc after the fighter pass is concluded yeah, so just touching once again on the pricing, we generally thought that there could be 3 or 4 Echo Fighters for $6. We settled on this price point when we were discussing about this video, just because it's about $6 to get one brand new character if you don't get the whole Fighter Pass, which is all 5 DLC characters, you can buy them individually at the price of about $6. And uh, that $6 pack comes with a new character, let's say for example Banjo-Kazooie, a ton of new music tracks, obviously that would be the Banjo-Kazooie themed music tracks, and then a brand new stage, which would obviously be Spiral Mountain if we're sticking with this Banjo example. However, obviously, I don't think the Echo Fighters themselves would get new stages, so you'd probably have to clump like 3 or 4 Echo Fighters together, because obviously they're going to be less valuable than a brand new character, but they could all get music tracks as well, just because... I mean, there's obviously a lot of music in the game already, but it would not hurt to add in just a few more songs and it would increase the value of this $6 Echo Pack. So why do we think this could happen? Well, obviously, we are currently in the process of getting the Big Fighters Pass, and while we do know there are going to be some characters after this, Sakurai has not stated how many there will be. He has, however, stated that he really wants to please as many people as he can with Ultimate, because he knows that gathering this many characters again is very unlikely. He's stated in interviews and even in a direct where he just says, like, this is probably never going to happen again, so he wants to keep pushing the limits of Ultimate's roster just to try and get it as high as he can so as many people are satisfied in this truly Ultimate version of Smash Bros. Echo Fighters seem like the best way to do that, as you can add in a lot of them in the development time and effort that it would take to add in just one newcomer, you could probably add in maybe four or five Echo Fighters. On top of that, each of those Echo Fighters would satisfy a subset of fans, for example, I know PJ you mentioned earlier you really want a shadow echo fighter that would satisfy a lot of people I know I would really get excited if we got a Dixie echo fighter because I'm a huge Donkey Kong Country fan Every single echo fighter will uh, you know make fans excited and it's a great way to a expand the roster B get you know a lot of fans excited and C not expend as much development effort as it would take for a brand new fighter 
So many of you are wondering when we think this supposed Echo Pack can be announced. Well, I personally think that it'll be announced at the Game Awards along with the fifth character of the Fire Pass, so let me explain. So last year at the Game Awards, Joker was announced to be in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate along with the Fighter Pass, and I think that the way that the Fighter Pass started is the same way it's going to be concluded with the announcement of the fifth character along with the announcement of this echo pass with some characters like we talked before dixie kong mega man x um now i wish shadow but not happening and then another one we had on our list here is octoling so once again end it like you started it so we really do uh, want this and we do think it has a pretty solid chance of happening. However, obviously this Echo Pack idea isn't perfect. There are a few uh, hypothetical problems with it and I just, in the name of fairness, I guess we'll go over those now. So the first main problem is that there's not enough characters to become Echo Fighters. I recently uploaded a video on uh, this channel about giving every single character already in the game an Echo Fighter. And that video was really fun to make, however, I could not come up with a lot of uh, good ideas. <laughs> like most of the, the Echo Fighters I, I decided on wouldn't really work in the game. On top of that, we've got stuff like the Shadow situation where Shadow would be the perfect Echo Fighter for Sonic. I think he's probably the only like suitable Echo Fighter for Sonic because like Tails and Knuckles wouldn't really work. But Shadow is unfortunately already an assist trophy. So we got situations like that too where it just gets a... Uh, it just gets, you know, a little bit muddled up and there might not be enough characters for them to justify doing this sort of echo pack. Along with that, some developer effort could be on new fighters. Obviously, as I talked about earlier, after the Terry announcement, we learned that more DLC fighters after the fighter pass would be in development. So obviously we aren't working on Smash or at Nintendo, so we don't exactly know what they're working on. But the assumption right now is that they would be working on new characters after the fighter pass so we do hope the echo pack happens but there are a few points against it as well to be fair yeah and just i mean if you're thinking about it logically the echo uh, pack definitely could happen but i just don't think they're gonna end smash ultimates dlc off with the echo pack they're gonna end it off with a big new character um, and they, they're obviously probably going to be working on that character as well. So an Echo Pack could be kind of like a me fighter costume thing where obviously not 100% of the development effort goes towards it, but it's just another caveat we just wanted to bring up. So those are the reasons why we think there could be an Echo Fighter pack coming as DLC. But we want to know what you guys think. Do you guys uh, think this is even going to happen? Or is this even something you guys want? Let us know down in the comments below because while we really want this, we want to hear what you guys think because obviously we're just two people and you guys are a lot more than that. So let us know down in the comments below. So once again, thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, it really helps us out. Make sure to follow both of our Twitters along with joining our Discord, all will be linked below. And this is PJ from the Switch Stop. And I'm Thomas from the Switch Stop, signing off for now, peace. Three, two, one. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Sorry, I'm sorry.